Hi there, welcome to Dundee Piano. We're going to have a look at the circle of fifths today. So we're going to start with the scale of C major. So I usually start here because it has no sharps or flats. And on the circle of fifths, I'll put the diagram on here, it'll have C at the top. So C has no sharps, no flats. And what we're going to do, because it's called fifths, You'll use five fingers on a scale, for example. One, two, three, four, five. And whatever your pinky lands on on that scale is the next in the circle of fifths. So there you have C, D, E, F, G. So then you would go G, G. And you have D, okay? You end up on A. Now for practical purposes, I'm not gonna do it all in a line because otherwise you would lose where my hands are going all the way up the keyboard. So every time we'll reset back to this octave, okay? So you have your C major, which has no sharp, no flat. If you go up five, you have G major, which has one sharp, F sharp, right beside the G, right? And if you go from G up five, D move down to here, so we have D major, which is two sharps, it has the one you already have, but it also has C sharp. Now the pattern with sharps is the note just before the scale note gets sharp, so in this case D, so it's the C that gets sharp, okay? If we go 5 up from D, it is A, okay? So A is going to have a new sharp, can you guess what it is? It's the G sharp, yeah. Okay, so it's G sharp, you have C sharp, F sharp, G sharp. You can maybe see a pattern rising here. It's also working in fifths. Yeah. Anyway, from A, one, two, three, four, five, you go to E, so E has four sharps, and the new sharp is it has a D sharp, okay? So for E major. The circle of fifths takes you to B. You have five sharps, all the sharps. Yeah, you have a three and a two, so all of these notes are all sharp in B. Okay, so the new one is A sharp. Five up. One, two, three, four, five from B gives you F sharp. Okay. F sharp. So how many sharps will we have now? We'll have six sharps. The final sharp is E sharp. Which is actually F natural if you're talking about the actual key. So that's E sharp. So again F sharp, six sharps. You could say it is also equal to G flat actually. So F sharp equals G sharp and G flat. Sharp and flat is in enharmonic when you have the same note described different ways. So if you're going up five from there, you get to C sharp, which is in harmonically D flat. C sharp D flat, you see that? It's like a little triangle here. C sharp D flat. Is this note here. So we're using all the black keys plus we have the F and the C. Now I'm going to flip on the circle from sharps to flats now. So if we describe that as D flat, we have E flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat, C and 
now we've gone over the, the circle and we're back to five flats. One, two, three, four, five. So up five from D flat is A flat. So that's the next and the fifths from there. So we have four flats now. Yeah, A flat, B flat, B flat, E flat. Mm -hmm. And up five from there is E flat, which will have three flats. You see the pattern here? As you go up fifths, you either gain a sharp or you lose a flat. Yeah, they're like two sides of the same coin. So from E flat, they have A flat, B flat. Five from there is B flat, which only has two flats this time. B e flat and E flat. So five up from there. F, which only has one flat, B. Okay, so that's F major. And five up from there. circle has come full circle back to C major again. So to recap, if I play all the keys of the piano, at the bottom of the piano you can't see it but it's down here, C, G, D, A, E, B, F sharp, D flat, A flat, E flat, B flat, F, and back to C right at the top of the keyboard, okay? So on an 88 key piano you have the full circle of fifths. Try it if you've got a piano. Go to a C, which is the third, fourth note up from the bottom, and do the full circle of fifths. Okay, so hopefully that's helped you a little bit with how the fifths are all related and how the sharps and flats are all kind of connected if you follow them through. In total you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it is like a clock face, so that's why we lay it out like that, from 12 o'clock all the way back round to 12 again. Okay, so you have your 12 notes of the semitones. Hopefully that's helped, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.